YouTube family. What's good, YouTube family? This your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Now, apparently, Young Dolph cousin, Brashadocious cousin, who's from the shy, from Chicago, he can't elade what's going on in the streets today. As you know, a bird of a feather flock together, and that ain't no diss, because I'm guilty of that too. Meaning that if you done heard something about my family, chances are I'm out there doing the same thing, allegedly. But his cousin got in the situation, and he displayed it on IG for all to see. We're going to get into that. Before we do, I need you to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and let's rock out with the most fastest winningest team out here. I smoke hip hop live. Salute, gang. YouTube family. Apparently, we got situations going right or wrong, right and left. This Dolph case has already been spiraling out of control. We already been seeing everything involving in this. And now you got a situation where families allegedly are being, you know, in the same situation. Now, the cousin showed a video in Chicago of what happened and what took place. I would like to share that video. I'm, I want y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and let's watch and report and break this down all the way. Now, as you can see on the video, the cousin is showing entirely what happened, what took place. You can see all the rounds, the ammunitions that went through the vehicle. Now, Young Dolph cousin, uh, I'm, I'm seeing 60% saying he was in the vehicle when it happened. And you're seeing 40% of the people who are close, allegedly close, are saying he was not in it at the time. I don't know which story is which because he's a smart man. He's not saying much like many other unfortunate members of society that does the same thing this dude is a smart one he knows he can incriminate himself if he say too much or do too much so in a situation like this he's just putting it up on the gram to show the whereabouts and i guess to let your loved ones and friends to feel and know what's going on know what i mean so right now him going back and forth with this vehicle showing it uh, it lets you know how deep it is not only in the Dolph situation but in chicago the chances of this being connected to Dolph, i wouldn't say they are at all that's just my personal opinion chicago being what it is being known for what they get in tune and who in tune with each other or whatnot chances are ain't nobody knowing out there what the cousin's been doing or what he got going on or like i said before who's he's in tune with you feel me this is chicago you know let, let's not you know act like this is a situation where it could merit what happened nah bro dudes get in trouble all the time down there in the city my personal situation in this is if you put it on the gram chances are you're trying to send a message to the people involved know what i mean you're basically sitting back and showing the world what it is and what went on and what transpired as far as let's say if one of his ops get him and you know he meet his demise you got to know what's going on with, with as far as your loved ones. The people need to know, okay, all right, Bam Bam had just lost his life. What happened? Oh, okay, earlier last week or yesterday, he put it on the gram and showed rounds being in the car. See, that's what you do just to let folks in them know, all right, we know what it is now. And either they're going to handle it, stand on business, or just for clarity and closure. Because if that man wanted to go run and tell that, be Martin Lawrence type of niggas and getting 12 involved or you know cpd chicago police departments he, he would have done did that nah he did it in a cryptic way in a message way to let the folks in them know we know it's all cool don't worry about it at least that's what i read through it and the ins and out of it what i'm about to do is give you compilations of Dolph speaking his best and speaking his minds and situations i need y'all to hit that like button hit that notification bell rock out with i smoke hip-hop live salute 
Blessings. You know what I'm saying? A lot of just rappers who's in the street, like things things is happening in the street, especially in their own neighborhood. And not, you know, obviously you we've we've seen, you know, the things that have happened in your career and having to deal with gunshots and shit like that. How do you or what advice do you give to other rappers in terms of like being able to move in your own city? Because it seemed like when you go back, when you're in your own city, that's when it seemed like a lot of this stuff happens. How do you protect? You gotta, you? you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play this game right. Would you say? Would you say the best way is to move out the neighborhood, or is it like what? What's the best you know way to kind of deal with to deal with shit like that? You gotta move out the neighborhood. Like even if you're not doing music and you're from the hood and you got ties to the hood, like this, you gotta time, do that I'm first thing first, first anyway. Him, like get away. But it was the first time that I really got to know him. And I had conversations with him and I would see, we would go on dates and we would go to Houston's or just anywhere. And, and we were walking and somebody came up like, hey, can I get your leftovers? He would literally go back inside the restaurant and order something altogether new just to give that person something to eat. And I don't think it was Houston's, it was actually Half Shell <laughs> at that time. Um, but I just would be amazed at like you, you were literally going back in. I thought that was just so, just awesome, you know. And it, it made me love and like him more at that time. Just, I never, I never experienced someone to be that giving. I even witnessed him once. We were out of town. We was out of the country, and he was so eager to to go into the town where everybody was, and he wanted to just give. He he literally all the money in his pocket he gave away gave away to all of the young boys that came up and one boy came up and said I didn't it's really crazy people are really rooting for you man that's what happened when you got a real solid foundation of the fan base mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying versus you getting signed your radio song blow up on the radio and all oh, that motherfucker gone now who is little dude who is little dude what's his name boy he's who where you from all that shit mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's different so where, where does this love come from like, how did I'm two years old, man. That's my little partner. That's got to be interesting with all the, uh, you know, it's not necessarily safe out here for black men nowadays. It ain't safe out here for black men, but it ain't safe out here for nobody, though, you tell the truth, if you just think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna have my child around all the bullshit that can even occur to go on. That's why I did what I did to everybody around me. What? breeds that sense of loyalty why why do you feel responsible for so many people <laughs> ain't that spirit feel responsible it's just that i just like to see folks doing good i like to see folks happy man you know what i'm saying like i don't like to see folks down like that especially when i'm doing such good and i always been like that my whole life you know what i'm saying like since i was young like i remember shit in high school having it and doing what i was doing and certain certain ones certain uh my partners Certain one like they wasn't able and they wasn't having they wasn't none for making sure that this got done in a, in a way that would really honor it all in a community that he loves so much. I want to thank Councilman JB Smiley and all of the councilmen that approved for this to be done. Just everybody who was in support got no hood on they can do whatever they want for their family they can go buy as many guns as the per the person that is hood all of that you see what i'm saying so like at the end of the day that they, they, they don't get you nowhere they don't put no money in your pocket they don't do they don't take care of your family no benefits do you feel like people need to have some hood in them not really because Man, it's people that ain't got no hood on them that got a billion dollars. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? It's people that ain't got no hood on them. They can do whatever they want for their family. They can go buy as many guns as the, per the person that is hood. All of that. You see what I'm saying? So, like, at the end of the day, they, they, they don't get you nowhere. They don't put no money in your pocket. You know? He made his artist, he made his artist, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, say screen Dolph name. He he made his artist bring up Dolph name and, and tie Dolph name to his name. Right, that's when everybody got all oh, him. Sudden, sudden, nobody never knew. Him. Right, see what I'm saying? That how he got his attention. Now I mean, you already made your artist use my name to get some attention. I let that shit. I, I, I laughed at that. It's funny to me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's funny to me. Now, not even just that. 
Look, ladies and gentlemen, y'all make sure y'all go hit that like button, hit that notification bell, come rock with the most winningest team out here. I smoke hip hop live. I'm your DJ Blessed One. What I can learn from this situation of Young Dolph's cousin is that no matter who you are or who we are, societal changes also always affect what's natural. So just always keep your head on a swivel and understand if you stay alert, you will stay alive. This world is full of unrighteousness walking around here and full of the wickedness. You gotta be the prominent ones that, you know, move forward, man. Your legacy is how you go about after your death. But in the meantime, before you talk about legacies or whatnot, focus on the living. We love to cry for the dead and cherish the dead, but we need to start cherishing the living. I always try to give positive quotes towards the ends of these videos. I hope my video today, our video today, was able to help you through whatever outrageous things you're going through. You, you know what I mean, man? Salute to all the real and understand DJ Bless One is with you. Salute. If you want to conversate, talk about promotions, business, or anything, you could find me at DJ underscore Bless One on Instagram, or you can also go to my Twitter and send me a message on Twitter as well at I Smoke Hip Hop Live. And if you want to go to my Gmail, I Smoke Hip Hop Live at Gmail. Look, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This has been real. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang.